I'm trying this new thing. It's a revolutionary thing. <laughs> Guy gets up at like 7 or 7.30 during the Easter holidays to try and get some work done. I'm struggling to get it to happen. It's the last few weeks of my undergraduate degree. I certainly do not have the time just to take it easy. Oh, who goes to library at 8.30 a.m. during the Easter holidays? Oh. Wow, I'm literally serving for Belong's fucking realness. Anyway, good morning, lovely people of the internet. It's currently 7.30 and I need to get out of bed. It's not even like that early if you think about it, but I am that she's so not good. <sighs> To make it worse, it's also freezing in this room. Like, I'm pretty sure the weather forecast said it's six degrees. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know. And that is not really making me want to get up either. I'm trying this new thing. It's a revolutionary thing. Where <laughs> Guy gets up at like 7 or 7.30 during the Easter holidays to try and get some work done. I'm struggling to get it to happen. Like, can't I just stay like this for the rest of the day? And my uni work does itself. But we can't have what we want. So... I'm gonna get up. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> Gotta put this on quickly. I'm actually running late because, oh my god, I actually look like an egg in this viewfinder. I am so sorry if you're watching this. Well, as I was saying, um, yeah, I'm running late because the plan is um, I actually am gonna head to the library in like 30 minutes. Yes, you heard that right. I am going to the library at 8.30 to start some work because i'm what a psycho a psycho who cares about her degree though it's the last few weeks of my undergraduate degree until i officially finish for the summer after this year extension it's crunch time and i really just need to be focusing so today is going to be a strictly no makeup greasy hair kind of thing sorry if that's not what you want to see but it's the vibe when you are a university student who's desperately trying to finish her degree oh, who goes to library at 8 30 a.m during the easter holidays So today I was working on my script for my 20 minute podcast I had to record for my trauma in children and adolescence module. This podcast counts for 100% of my grade for this module which is a little stressful but I actually really enjoyed learning about trauma and resilience in this module and naturally it's actually quite funny to apply it to my own life and be like oh this is why I am the way I am. <laughs> so that's the first study block of the day and I'm currently vlogging in the back stairs of this library so I don't get properly judged <laughs> like every other student here you can tell it's the easter holidays because it's literally so dead on campus right now since it's 1 30 now i'm gonna go head out and meet dan for lunch we haven't decided where to go yet but knowing us it will probably be spoons so yeah <laughs> just realized i have no idea where i'm going <laughs> i think i've gone the wrong way i've realized though that the latte that i had earlier was like a really bad choice considering i'm she's so jittery right now you can probably hear in my voice and oh, i'm just anxiety central and i think that's partly because i have so much work to still complete and i'm kind of in stress mode right now so far though i've managed to get quite a bit of work done which is quite good <laughs> I feel 
like I probably should have filmed this before I decided to cut into the pizza, but as you can see, I've gone for a Margaret's pizza, and what have you got? Boneless basket. I was gonna say, I was like, I actually thought you said them boneless banquet. I personally think Weber Spoons is, you know, god tier pizza. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours since lunch. My camera died though, so I wasn't able to get like any more footage in between. So we basically just came home and I spent the last hour just reading through the rest of what I need to get done today. It's what I've got now though, so I'm gonna power through and do a bit more of the planning for my podcast. Not gonna lie, I feel so tired. Like I literally just wanna get in bed and just chill for the evening, but I haven't been able to make as much progress as I wanted today. So I'm just gonna see if I can get as much as I can done tonight. I don't know you guys, but I feel like I reach a certain part in the day where like my brain capacity to like take any information in just ceases. Like I, I get to a point in the day where I literally just can't understand the information I'm reading on the screen and I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling that currently but I'm just gonna push through because now that these last few weeks of my undergraduate degree I certainly do not have the time just to take it easy. I'm probably gonna stop around 8 since I've actually got to go and spend the rest of the evening um, getting ready for tomorrow since we've got an exciting little day out but I will tell you guys a bit more about that um, when I finish this work. Um, so yeah I'm gonna go crack on and I'll update you in a bit. The hood's gone up because I literally, I'm done with my greasy hair, like I just can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> and I don't want you guys to see it. I've decided, yeah, I don't want to subject you guys to that. But it is currently 7.30. I think I've left myself in a good position to continue on Wednesday. I say Wednesday, um, which is in two days time because that is the day that I will be returning after my little trip. Um, I feel like I shouldn't really call it a trip. Basically, Dan and I are traveling back to Birmingham tomorrow morning because we are attending a Five Sauce concert at the Birmingham Arena, which I'm very excited for because not only have we been waiting to go to the store, for about two years like we actually booked the tickets I think in yeah I'm pretty sure we booked the tickets in like 2020 or something like it's literally been that long that the tour name has even changed like oh god it feels like ages ago since we did that but not only have we waited two years for this tour but back in 2020 when we bought these tickets Dan and I also purchased the VIP package which basically means that not only are we going to be seeing the concert but we are going to be able to access an exclusive VIP sound check before the actual gig. I've literally been a Five Sauce fan for as long as I can remember. Considering I've had a One Direction phase I don't think it's that much of a surprise to believe that I'm also a Five Sauce fan. For those who don't know Five Sauce basically stands for five seconds of summer. I think this will be the fourth time I'm seeing them live after going to see two of their own actual tours and then also seeing them when they opened for One Direction on their Where We Are tour back in 2014. Yes, I know. I not only got to see Zayn live when, you know, they were all together as five members of One Direction, but I also got to see Five Sauce open for One Direction. Like, yeah, I know, I didn't realise how lucky I was at that point in my life. The last time I saw Five Sauce was, I think, 2016. Oh my god, that was six years ago. Dan wasn't originally a Five Sauce fan, but I think through the process of dating me, he has become quite an avid Five Sauce and One Direction fan. For his birthday two years ago, I decided to treat him to this VIP package to go see them because he quite likes punk music and if you've listened to Five Sauce's early stuff, it's very punk. I know you're probably thinking, is it wise to go to a concert halfway through your finals, but I'm actually weirdly quite happy that it's taken two years to see Five Sauce in this tour because I feel like I need this, you know, the last two years have just been utter stress. It's also been two years since I last went to a concert. Um, I think I'm actually wearing, yeah, I'm wearing the merch from the last concert I went to, which was Halsey's Manic Tour. Um, I'm wearing one of her Manic Tour hoodies in 
gorgeous tie-dye blue. Trust me, it was £60 well spent. But since we're going to go see them in Birmingham, we need to kind of leave early um, to get there and like check into our hotel and stuff because of the fact that we have sound check. I've actually got a few things I need to do this evening to prepare for tomorrow's concert and make sure like everything's ready, you know, tickets and stuff, including actually packing. So I'm gonna go wash my hair right now and do a few other like pampery bits and bobs, you know, to get me fully concert ready because I literally look like a certified mess right now. Mm -hmm. 